Okay, I'm not. I'm now on my other computer. So let's see if this this All this right. works better. And well, good morning, everybody, or good evening, or good afternoon. Uh, we're here from all over the world. We have people from India. We have people from Canada. We have people from Europe, Middle East, uh, the United States, and we're here on EdChat Interactive today to learn about introducing entrepreneurship to students and. Um, to me, this is, this is something that just hits me right in the heart, because if you think about a lot of the things that entrepreneurs do is they, they're able to look at a situation, figure out what needs to be done, come up with a plan, basically create something out of nothing, um, and then stick with that plan, even when things start to go wrong, and then build something. Aren't those the skills that we want kids to really develop as they grow up? And aren't those the things that really are going to be necessary in order to succeed in life, uh, really from this time forward? And, and, and whereas these, it's always been true, with the world changing so rapidly, it's especially important now. So, um, so I'd like to welcome you all and, I, and also bring your attention to EdChat Interactive, where we have other events that are coming up. These are always free that are, that are coming up over the course of the next few weeks. But I'd like to you know, bring up uh, Mani Cavell and Dr. Vijay and Anupam Sharma, um, who are going to be presenting. And so just a question for each one of you, what got you all started, each one of you, to th start thinking about entrepreneurship for kids? Um, Anupam, why don't you, uh, I'll put you on the hot seat first. Um, <laughs> What, what got you started? Uh, uh, yes, I think Manik uh, brought us all together. So it says, uh, Manik, would you like to answer this? Uh, yes, Anupam. Uh, so to, to answer this question, like uh, there, there is always a question, you know, uh, whether entrepreneurship is an uh, inborn trait or an acquired trait. You know, that's the question first comes in the mind when you think of entrepreneurship. Uh, so to me, like 75% is more of an acquired skills or an acquired triads. And then 25% is your uh, inborn triads. Uh, based on my journey of 20 years, uh, you know, I acquired everything on the fly or on the real world experience uh, that made me or shaped me into an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur, uh, you know, the model. So I thought, why not uh, we take this concept or whatever the learnings I had like for the past 20 years and then put that into a small package or to introduce that as a basic concepts for the kids or the students. Uh, they could feel entrepreneurship as a career option uh, rather than you know looking at as a, a kind of a risky business. Uh, then uh, I thought, okay, so the next step should be, uh, I need to connect with the like-minded educators uh, who could be interested uh, to take this concept on the, the real education side. So I, I, uh, I was you know, tweeting uh, something about entrepreneurship on the Twitter, then Dr. Vijay and Anupama showed some interest. Uh, so that's where the connection started uh, much. So, uh, you know, it... It's interesting to me to see this partnership with you, uh, Dr. Vijay and Anupam, because you, you're you a real entrepreneur. You started businesses, you built businesses, you helped small businesses grow. Um, and uh, Dr. Vijay and, and Anupam are both master educa educators. And so they really understand the things that motivate students and how students learn. And so putting all that together seems to me a kind of a unique feature that the three of you have that really makes your message even stronger than it would be otherwise, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Manik has ignited our minds. Uh, though we are teachers, educators, and I'm also a corporate executive over there, uh, but MMs strike the deal on a correct way by uh, igniting our mind so that why not we think something differently? Normally, as an educator in school, we have math, you have science, we have commerce, we have other subjects going on. Basically, everybody should understand that we are all entrepreneurs only. We either knowingly or unknowingly, we use that skill. So the basic thing is we have not come out of it to make it a wholehearted study. So that is what MM was thinking. So I was in relationship with that 
with mm hope i am right mm uh, yes vijay <clears throat> yeah that's what it's sir yes and i was doing lot of activities with the students i was not just teaching the science subject that uh, i am uh, you know specialized in i was teaching 21st century skills to the students so uh, this entrepreneurship was quite cl- is quite close to my heart so uh, without having much uh, training about entrepreneurship i uh, read a lot about this and then i started i introduced this to my students and i did few some of the activities with the students and found that the kids are really really interested in doing this and something they got a kind of satisfaction the kids got kind of satisfaction while they do entrepreneurship activities so this is where we i started tweeting about my activities and i think from there uh, manik you know found me and we all got together well, that's fascinating and yeah, so, you know i could um distract from what your presentation is forever because i'm finding you know just talking to the three of you to be um enlightening but i don't want to take away from everything that you've planned so i'm going to zip my mouth for at least 2 minutes <laughs> and let you start your presentation <laughs> no we won't let anyone to zip actually we want it has to be very interactive whatever if any any one of, of the audience if you have done any activities on like regarding entrepreneurship if you have any idea please do share with us so here we start uh, manik are we ready yeah so let's start with introduction right uh, yes. yeah so yeah so thank you all for joining us today and greetings from our side and i am anupam sharma i am an educator teacher trainer a content developer and a lifelong learner uh, uh, this is manik uh, uh, i am an uh, entrepreneur and a co-founder uh, of a software uh, technology firm i'm based out of canada yeah hi i am dr vijay i am basically initially started my career as an educator i was a professor of commerce from there i moved to the corporate heading hr and now into retail financial services so i have seen three different phases and still i continue as an educator wherever there is a possible opportunity now i work with ifea heading the business unit of retail financial services thank you uh, yes please allow us to share our screen uh, yeah hope all of you can see the screen right yes it is visible fine thank you yes uh, learning targets before going into learning targets the word entrepreneurship i think many of you are aware because we are focusing on the development of the kids we are not going at the high level of an entrepreneur as a businessman we just want to mold each and every child the capacity or the ability to think and to react so entrepreneurship it's nothing but it is exposure to business when you say the term exposure we can relate it to exploration when you say exploration it says something about trying trying new concepts trying new ideologies to the kids point of view allow the kids to think allow the kids to work on his passion which will drive him to be a successful student when he graduates out of a school or a college so this particular course only belong to kids to mold his or ability the creative thinking and the habit of logical way of executing the things by taking an unique better decision so let's see the slide here you have these learning objectives so why should entrepreneurship be introduced to kids so basically as i already pointed out this beautiful point that we are all entrepreneurs even kid is an entrepreneur when a kid asks something it is an entrepreneurial skill because it it wanted something it is asking so the mind has the capacity to think so the kids in school needs to be molded for example a fourth grade to eighth grade it is the level of the maturity of a kid where everything transforms kids started thinking kids started asking in such a way so it is must for schools to collaborate and to start this particular venture apart from their normal curriculum the second question here is how can teaching entrepreneurship affect the academic and life trajectories of children academics entrepreneurship can also be taken as an academic which is a skill based activity subject with promotes logical thinking 
and life trajectories is nothing but taking decision taking risk and one more is accepting the failure and try to innovate and do something good for a better future the third how do you integrate entrepreneurship into already jammed schedules and curriculum every school is already been jammed and now during this covid they are forced to go virtual that itself is an entrepreneurial skill where every school adapted the change all teachers who have been using the chalk and talk now they are using the laptop pad and a mic though education without any hindrances it is going on at 100% hats off to all the teachers who are doing a tremendous job that itself is an entrepreneurial skill so those jammed curriculum there is always a scope for learning something new just you have cookery classes you have yoga classes you have table tennis classes like that arts craft even that entrepreneurship can also be inserted to a certain extent though dot going with the curriculum at least a small devoted time for a kid to understand where he stands and next question is how do you get started and the last question is what are some obstacles and how do you work around obstacles are there life is full of ups and downs so obstacles are there everywhere we need to sail we need to find a suitable path and this entrepreneur skill will give them a suitable path because where they have to move in an efficient way so these are the questions will be answered during the course of this presentation yes yeah the next slide is uh, why introduce entrepreneurship to school kids uh, okay uh, the, the first point is uh, extending school uh, with the real world so that means the entrepreneurship concept is going to act as a bridge between Uh, learning in the classroom and the real world scenarios uh, so basically uh, this knowledge will become an eye opener for the kids or the students uh, to see the real world possibilities with their learning experience and the, and the second point is uh, the entrepreneur mindset like problem solving teamwork or the empathy and then accepting failure uh, these are the triads uh, you know if if kids are given Uh, at the uh, at the age where you know uh, they could grasp easily and then you know uh, they could practice more on the scenarios uh, they will be well equipped uh, well equipped when they go out to face the real life uh, business situations and the third point is decision making process yes uh, even though if you are an entrepreneur or if you are a professional uh, you need this decision making skills you know Uh, that that makes you as a strong uh, professional or an entrepreneur at every stage and uh, the the point <laughs> comes to the the practical application of uh, financial or uh, numerical intelligence and then creativity and innovation uh, uh, so if if you take creativity and innovation so so basically uh, this drives or uh, this motivates the the kids to find uh, innovative solutions for the business challenges or the social challenges uh, that way you know they they learn the uh, the the different art or a method of you know getting solutions for the business problems uh, using the triads and the uh, problem solving skills yeah uh, thank you manik you i think we all you don't add uh, anything I Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, I thought that you're done, right? So should I should I take over? Uh, yes. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 Thanks. So so thank you, um, MM. Uh, so I think we all agree with MM because teaching entrepreneurship to the kids is not just a good idea, but I believe that it teaches essential life skills. And uh, earlier, the kids are introduced to this skill, the bigger impact they can make. you know so we have developed a beginners guide for the teachers so can we have the next slide please uh yes so uh getting started with entrepreneurship so we have uh, developed a be beginners guide for the teachers that will help teachers to have an idea that how you can go about teaching entrepreneurship it talks about uh, how it can be introduced in the schools how can parents help uh, in introducing this entrepreneurship to their learners uh, to their kids and also include some activity ideas for the kids a uh, next slide please 
So we'll be showing that beginner's guide to you uh, in a short while. So as uh, Dr. Vijay has uh, rightly pointed out that uh, we, uh, the schools are jam-packed, uh, they have uh, or their, their curriculum in place, they have all the activities they are in place. So, but uh, introducing entrepreneurship will not take much uh, of your time because we need just uh, one hour a week uh, to, uh, to begin with because uh, one hour peak with simple and engaging activities with the planned and purposeful activities for the children. So it can be done uh, with that. So generally we have 30 to 40 minutes of uh, class. So one day a week would be enough uh, uh, for the students. We also have club uh, clubs in the schools. Many schools have club options uh, in the schools. So entrepreneurship Clubs can be uh, introduced to the students. We can involve parents uh, also in this. So having parents, you know, talk about their jobs, having parents talk about their uh, workplace, their job satisfaction level, everything if the parents can talk with the children. So because it plays a huge influence in determining the child uh, work ethics and habits. So it's, it's, it's really, it's not very difficult to introduce this in the uh, curriculum. So uh, next slide, please. Yes, so let's talk about activities. That is the most engaging thing that uh, we should uh, learn. Yes, yes so over so, to you, Dr. Vijay. Would you yeah, like to talk fine. about this? Yes, fine. So I would love to compliment your views in inserting this into the school curriculum, that is number one. And as you rightly pointed out, the point number one, which is the entrepreneurship development center, which is there in every school. So those centers, the kids are enrolling and they are part of it. So they can learn this at first as a theoretical way, and then they can slowly transform that into their normal course so that they will have the basic idea about what is entrepreneurship, what exactly it is. So all the concepts, the traits, the qualities, the thinking abilities, all can be taught so that it will mold the child in a unique way so that every child will start asking questions. Nowadays, childs are asking questions. All the students are asking questions. That is a welcome initiative. But still more in a good way, they will ask more and more questions about many things apart from the normal subject when we introduce this concept of entrepreneurship because it involves a big, it's a vague, it is a topic by seeing entrepreneur, we can say it's just a small word, but it has a total world at the back because everything is only invention, everything is only invention, everything is rediscovery, same by same, we just keep on digging the same thing, only our mind digs, so that is what it is. Every kid has to dig his own mind because all the kids are gifted. The kids studying in the school, each and every kid is gifted. They have got the unique quality called a super brain which we need to ignite or spark them so that they will do wonders in life. That is what our objective here. So this activity base is for the audience. So you have a number of audience who are here. So this is an activity, for example, to just see how are you going to sell the old bike to someone. It is just thinking, for example, you have a bike. You want to sell it. How are you going to make the sale? How are you going to convince a buyer? How are you going to explain the unique features of it? Though it is a second-hand at sale, you need to make it as if it is a first-hand sale. That is the quality of an entrepreneur. The way you are going to speak, the way in which you are going to deliver the qualities of it, bringing relevance to the buyer, how far it will suit him. If you buy this, this will do this. It will be extraordinary. It will be awesome. Like that, you need to convince, you need to influence. So indirectly, communication skill develops. Indirectly, creativity comes. Indirectly, you try to show and you build your brand. That is what entrepreneurship totally deals with. So be an advisor who wants to help. So all these questions are to be answered. So this is an activity for your audience. So for example, if I ask you, you have a bike or a scooter, when you want to make a sale, how will you convince? So just take one minute, think, and I have MM here who's a better entrepreneur. You'll be able to judge your answer how it is, what you saw. Yes, Vijay. Yeah, so over to you. Make, yeah. Yeah, so, so audience, audience, anyone? please, uh, yes, anyone, you could, you can mute your, just unmute yourself and Unmute and just tell how will you convince and sell, that is the point here, how will you convince? 
would have done hard jump. You would have done hard jump. You would have done uh, many such thing in the school or in the college. So that is what it is. Hope I'm right. Correct me if I'm wrong. And Prince Kofi, you were you started to say something. Do you did you want to? Did you have a comment or did you have a question? Because I think there was a, you know, one of the attendees, uh, Dimple Puri, mentioned that the I love the bike activity and love the idea of, and somebody else mentioned that they love the idea of the after school clubs, and it just seems to me that when you focus on something pretty simple like selling a used bike, that could really get a class discussion going, and then as a teacher, you can steer that class discussion into pretty much anything. So if you wanted to steer that into numeracy, you know, you could talk about how much you're going to sell the bike for. If you wanted to teach about, you wanted to talk about presentation skills, you could steer the conversation into how are we going to present this. If you wanted to steer it into art, they could talk about art that they needed and that, that would be attractive to somebody to get them to convince the, to convince to buy a bike bicycle. So as a teacher, introducing entrepreneurship seems to me to be a great way to motivate the kids to learn pretty much anything, right? Yeah, the so, clue, uh, MM, you can yes. give some clue, you can give them some clue. See, if you want to sell a bike, you want to sell a two-wheeler, first as a seller, you should know what is the market price of it. That is the first basic thing. The second point is, what is the level of the second hand at sale the price of it third the year of manufacture number four what is this wear and tear so every student has to be taught this at number one any product is always having a wear and tear that is the first basic thing to be answered so this activity is only selling a bike so these are all the factors that you should take into account mm -hmm. before you go for a sale before you go for a sale what is the price how much i have used it how much still it can be put, put on to use, all those questions should run back of your mind. That is called your thought process. That has to be ignited. Yes, MM sir, you can take. Yeah, again, uh, to add, uh, so you should also put yourself as a buyer and you know then uh, generate the questions. So that way, uh, if you are a buyer, you are going to buy a bike, second hand bike, what are the parameters or what are the factors you will consider? So keep that in the mind and then generate the question so that it's easy for to sell that. Any one of you, can you make an attempt? Try or we can have Mr. Mitch to answer this, <laughs> to try this. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, I can try it if you can repose the question. I was just thinking also that when you're talking about putting yourself as a seller, putting yourself into the buyer's shoes, that's a huge social emotional skill. And that's also something that we want our kids to be able to do. So what's the question that you want, would like me to make a stab at? How will you convince and sell this bike? Well, for me, if the first step well, I mean, you're, you're, you're right when you consider, look at the bicycle, think in advance about how people are gonna be using the bicycle, think about what the bicycle costs, look at what other people are paying for similar bicycles, um, and then figure out how you're going to be reaching somebody. So the, 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 when you get somebody who says, wow, I'm interested in the bike, my style would be to get them talking about whatever, what is it that you want, to, you know, what would you do if you had a bike and get them imagining all the fun things and great things that they would want to do. And then, and then kind of steer it to, wow, you know, you want to be able to have more independence. If these are the things that they brought up, you want to be able to go to the store on your own. You want to be able to visit friends, all those great things. And for all those things, this bicycle I'll let you have this bicycle for, and then whatever the price is. And so you kind of move to a, uh, a kind of a closing question to see if the person really is willing to buy it. And then that become that then becomes a part of a conversation where you're uh, discussing with the person, like how much is this bicycle really worth to that person? So that's, that's, that, that would be my style. And uh, may I say something, uh, if you allow, sir? 
please. Thank you. Yeah, even uh, what we can do is we can have our uh, bills and all of bicycle when purchasing all that we can also have. And if we can offer uh, some helmet or maybe another extra products with that to make it <laughs> like we are giving free of cost or something to attract the customer. <laughs> so. Yeah, fine. Thank you. All Fantastic. these are innovative skills. These are all are innovative skills. This is a skill which we want Fantastic. to really come out. Fantastic. Beautiful. Rocking. Yeah, uh, we should consider Thank you so all much. The, yeah, we should consider all the possibilities, you know. Uh, Mitch rightly said, like, uh, covering all the unique selling points and then finally coming to the cost factor. Yes. Yes. And I would so, definitely buy a bike, Mr. Mitch, from you. I'll definitely <laughs> buy that bike. So well, I, I happen to have an extra one. What fun things or... <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy that from you. Yeah. And, okay, you and if you buy it, if you buy it now, I have a helmet that I can give you. <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Okay, that's fantastic. And thank you so much for participating in this activity. Thank you so, so much. Uh, can Meet we have every one of you? Uh, uh, yes. The next, next, next slide. slide. See here, these are all the simple activities which we have planned for the kids to come out and express. If you can able to read it, it's easy. Pick up anything you love, praise for it, and suggest the ways of making it better. It deals about innovation. It is not invention, it is innovation. Having something in hand, try to do something better. So skill will be applied. See the skill number two to practice marketing. When you say the term marketing, it goes to influence. When you go to influence, it says something about communication. So far, it is going to reach out. So you have to find someone who wants to take it. So just now, Mr. Mitch has sold his bicycle through a perfect marketing process. So that is the unique exact answer for that. The third activity deals about a physical object and how will you make money? It is innovation. The first activity is you know, so this is invention. The first activity is innovation. The second is marketing. It says about influencing the people to buy a product. The third one, you call it as something new, which you are going to make it to the world and how convincingly you are going to launch it as it is MM's domain, testing a product before coming into a market. That is what it is. So you can take on this, sir. It's your domain. Uh, yes, Vijay. Uh, so, so basically, uh, our activities are uh, segregated into uh, major uh, domains of the business. Uh, one is uh, invention. The other one is like innovation. Uh, the other one is the, the financial intelligence. I call it as a financial intelligence. So, uh, so the, you, you are covering the sales aspect, marketing aspect, operation aspect, and then uh, financial aspect of the business. So these concepts, you know, once you start working with activity-based, you know, concepts, uh, you get to know the feel of each area, uh, which is a, a primary framework for any kind of a business. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so I would like to share uh, a video with you because uh, that is the activity that we did, uh, that we did with our students. So, uh, can we have this video played? Uh, yeah, this is the activity which is based upon the concept of Yad Sale. Uh, I know, I think it's asking a username, password. It's the Facebook, right? All right. So, 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 uh, let. So, I'll I'll share it uh, with yeah. uh, with them. Just wait. Just just wait. So, I'll just talk about it first, and then we'll share it. Uh, so we conducted a yard sale activity with the students based upon the concept of yard sale. What we did, we asked students to bring their old toys, uh, old toys uh, to the school. And uh, because the uh, kids get uh, fed up with the toys, they get bored like they, they all have old toys. Every time they have, a, they have, you know, they are asking their parents to buy a new toy for them. So what we ask, so whichever toy they do not want to play with, just bring it to the school and uh, think about, uh, we have given them uh, some uh, uh, some guidelines that think about how you're going to uh, talk about what are the special features of your toy and then give it a price. And then that price was also, uh, they all made their own fake own currencies on the paper. 
so they made their currencies they put a price tag on the toy and then they they uh, the day uh, on the main day of the yard sale they brought they set up the entire uh, the wing the, the entire corridor with with their toys and they they were there to sell the toys to each other so with this they learned the skill of uh, you know uh, communication and then they're talking about uh, their toys uh, selling selling it to the buyers and then they also learned about the numeracy they added up whatever money they brought profit they, uh, was it a profit was it a loss and at the end of the day the, uh, what we could see is all smiles everybody was smiling having the best toy having uh, the toy that they wanted for uh, for themselves and even for the kids uh, even uh, for their siblings and uh, when they uh, when they uh, you know uh, next day when they came to the school and they talked the, uh, so highly about it that they really loved all those toys so uh, that was amazing activity that um, i planned uh, for my kids so i'll just show you that video in a short while so uh, there is uh, one more activity that you can see on the screen that is a logo you can ask students to uh, senior students like maybe the students of uh, 13 to 14 years of age maybe 12 years of age so they can uh, they can uh, you know design a logo uh, uh, the next one please they can design yeah. a logo and uh, with all the important uh, aspects of that and they can share with you on any other platform we have we have uh, you know, wicklet we have and, uh, and, uh, the, and i noticed yes, that meenakshi uh, had something that she wanted to yeah. Um, discuss. Maybe you can come up, Minakshi. Yes, Minakshi. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And uh, no, ma'am, actually, it's a wonderful activities that you are sharing. And it just came to my mind one idea like, what uh, it would be if I ask my teachers, if I ask my students, they have to convince some another child, like, my school is the best and get admission in our school. I mean, this is also a kind of like the strategy can be done. I can give this task to my teachers, like, they have to convince a student and the children, maybe from the neighborhood also, they have to get the admission done. Yeah. Every teacher, one or two students should be there in my school. And that is also considered as entrepreneurship yeah, this, this skills, is the, isn't the, it? Yes, yes. This is, yes. This is a perfect business strategy. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this. And we all, we teachers are entrepreneur ourselves because every time, every session, everyone is an entrepreneur. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Everyone is an entrepreneur. Yes. <laughs> even even in daily life, uh, we we, yes. we are uh, we are doing sales. We are doing marketing. We are yes. Doing everything. As as MM rightly pointed out, we daily decide what to buy. That is a skill. We accept. We reject by using our mind. So that is entrepreneurship indirectly. We go through daily yes. in day to day life. So that is a fantastic. So that logo example is also a good one. When you say logo, seeing the companies, it gives it comes with the creativity of an individual the kids see his variety of logos it perceives in his mind and it does something new so that is how creativity has to come out yeah this activity yes. is particularly yeah this activity is particularly for brand building yes yes, yes absolutely and and uh, you know uh, there's next activity when we talk about to build awareness for a cause help it uh, by raising money so uh, we schools in, in India, we organize faiths. We organize annual faiths where, where children, our kids are allowed to, you know, arrange their stalls. They are uh, selling something They are to the parents, to the people who are coming up, coming to attend the school faiths. So that is also a great uh, idea, a great idea for uh, entrepreneurship and encouraging students to, to participate in such events is a great idea. And then be a social entrepreneurs. So social entrepreneurs, it prioritize their, their positive impact on the society. Create and manage your venture to achieve and desired social change. So we have been uh, doing activities on SDGs, sustainable development goals. So uh, the stu and we do a lot of activities on creating something best out of waste and uh, presenting in front of everybody so uh, so that also include, that is also a part of entrepreneurship so we should you know encourage kids to to come up with ideas to upcycle something to to reuse something so that comes under the social entrepreneurs right so uh, uh, yes manik 
Yeah, I'll go to this. I'm one. just give me a second to. I'll just. I'm just working on finding out that video. I'll just share. Oh, no. You just oh, go no. ahead. Next. Yeah, I'll share the activity one. The... Activity sheet. Yes. <clears throat> Are you sharing the activity? Ah, uh, yes or no? Uh, yes, yes. Can you see this? So these are few activities sheet that uh, that we have uh, created. Just wait. Uh, no, no, you you can't open this. Let me. Uh... Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's there. Yes, I think you can open it now. It's there. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you so, see this? Aren't you able to share this? Aren't you able to share this? Okay, let me, uh, then let me do, let me uh, start presenting from my device. Okay. Okay, then, then, okay, give me a minute. <clears throat> yes, Monica, well, yeah, maybe I, you I, can I, stop sharing. Yes, yeah. if, you stop, if you stop sharing and then I'll start presenting. Okay. So please give me the sharing. There you go. Yeah. And you should have the sharing rights, right, Anupam? I think you are it's a co-host. It's asking me, whenever I'm clicking it, it's asking me that only uh, you can share, only the host can share in this meeting. Really? I thought you yeah. were. No. Um, let me. Oh, I thought I made you a host. I am so, so there, sorry. Yeah. And, uh, uh, no, that's okay. That's there, you, there you go. You should be a co-host now. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Thank and you. I'm going to double your salary at the same time. <laughs> I am... Uh -oh, I'm not able to share my screen. I don't know. I'm not able to share my screen. Uh, somehow I'm not able to share my screen. I am unable to share my screen. Hmm. I don't know why. You may be on a um, like an, an Android device or an iOS device. Uh, yes, yes, I am on uh, Android. Device. Yeah, that's difficult. I don't know that that um, it's not so easy to share from those. Okay, okay, that's why. That's Do you why. want to just put the URL into the chat, and then we can look at yes, that way? Yes, I think we should do that. Yeah. Yes, yes, we can do that. Okay, so I'm pasting the URL. I'm pasting the URL uh, of this video for everybody to see. Uh, and I will share the archive with everybody also. And so I will put the URLs of all the videos in there as well if you give them to me. Yes, uh, there's a link I have posted for the this. Oh, good. If you, okay. if anyone can share, if it's possible for you to share. Is it asking the rights then? Um, no, I'm here. It's, oh, it is asking me to. Let me for just... Facebook, Again. is it? You're asking for Facebook? Yes, yes, yes. yes no, I yes, can see, I can see, I can see the video okay. that you have shared. Okay, great, 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 great. All right. Uh, so uh, that uh, that that's a video that uh, shows the activity and the fun. You can see that how children are enjoying this, how children are really really liking this activity, and all are smiling. All are counting on the money that they 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 are getting after selling all their toys. That's great. Uh, yes. Yes. So let's.
talk about this activity sheet that we have created. So we have, uh, again, it, it got broke. So, okay, okay. So we'll share the link of our activity sheet shortly. So here is the guide. Okay, it's there. Manik, okay, fine. This is the activity sheet yeah. one. Here you'll see that it's, it talks about designing through innovation. So here, uh, can you please scroll up? So we'll see there are reusable tea bags. Actually, these are, are all ideas from Manik. So Manik, would you please talk about all these things? Yes or no? Yes. So, so can, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah, perfect. So the first is the design through innovation. So, so it's, it's basically, you know, uh, taking a, a simple household product like a tea bag and then uh, using that to research like uh, what was it like before this invention? What problem did this invention solve? And then who benefits from the invention? And what are the negative aspects of the invention? These are the questions that triggers uh, kids or students to come out with a different kind of answers using a simple, you know, the objects or the things they use in the daily life. So the typically like tea bag, then umbrella. So uh, again, the same set of questions uh, putting for a uh, different products like uh, you know like uh, I think I'm not seeing can you hear my voice? Yes, yeah, okay. yes, okay. yes we can go ahead, lag. go ahead. It's clear. Okay, I'm getting a lag. Okay. So this is uh, this is the kind of activity uh, for triggering the inventions using the uh, the daily used products. So that's a great way of getting kids to start thinking because they have to think through this when, whenever they come up with something that they want to sell. So getting them to think about real things gets them into a much broader frame of mind, which will probably help them the rest of their lives, right? Yes, Mitch. So uh, likewise, we have created all the simple activities for you know, the, the age level, according to the age level, starting from uh, the children who are aged eight years till 14 years of uh, age. So we have planned activities for them. So uh, Anu, can you explain this activity, the second yeah, one? Sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. Imagine, uh, just full screen it. Yes. Imagine a product or an object you have. It's the same activity that we, we have talked about in uh, just a few minutes back. Scroll down. Yeah. So it, it talks about M-A-C-S-R-A-R. -A -A -R. So this is, this is an acronym like merge, alternative, look for an alternative, convert to, it, uh, to a new usage, then switch reduce and adjust adjust it so see for example so for example uh, there is an example given here uh, just please please uh, scroll down yes i, I know it, it's uh, yes it's self explanatory activity so for example a cookie or a burger or a computer now we have to we have to think of the new ideas or ways to improve the product. So kids really love doing this activity because they are, they uh, regarding a food product, they are really finicky. Yeah, they really like, they have developed few likings on a, a particular food item. They dislike a particular food item. So you can, you always ask them, so how you can improve that particular product? How you can improve that particular eatable? So have the students think. So that is the main um, idea behind entrepreneurship, having them, having them think. So uh, these, uh, then the question is how, how could you adjust this product to work for your new purpose? So whatever, uh, whatever changes you have made in this product. So what is the purpose what, from, uh, for where, where you're going to use this uh, new product, uh, product? And then how could you change the shape, look and feel of your product to make it more presentable, so to make it more attractive, like they see a lot of things in the market. They are, uh, even if they are not good in taste, but they are attractively packed. So children, you know, fell for that and they ask, they, uh, they buy it. So, uh, so how, so this gives them an idea that how, uh, give them an idea to think that how can they change the shape, look and feel of the product. And the next that, uh, how can they use the product anywhere else or in a new way? Here comes the innovation. So they have to think and innovate some new idea. 
And the next question says, what can make the item, uh, what can make the item small, lighter, faster, or simpler? Here again, a lot of thinking, a lot of challenges to the students, which, which kids really like. And what if you change the order? And could you change the order? So these kind of activities uh, ignite the spark and they allows them to think beyond uh, beyond uh, the regular routine beyond the regular routine it it allows them to not to you know we are not telling students to what to think we are just here encouraging students how to think on a particular uh, object right so these are simple these are just examples that we are sharing with you these two activity sheets that we have specially prepared for uh, this and we have more simple activities uh, for you to um, see but not now the, if you want those activities, uh, we'll share our email IDs and, if, and you can contact us. And uh, next slide, please. Then we'll show you the beginner's guide that we have prepared. Uh, yes, no. here is the guide. Yes. Yes, so it has a lot of contents. It talks about what is or who is an entrepreneur. This is for teachers, especially for teachers. So we have already talked about why it's important, who's an entrepreneur, and uh, this this uh, beginner's guide will talk about what are the characteristics, which uh, you can, you know, uh, when you have the set of kids with you, you can see uh, the qualities, the skills the kids are already, that uh, the skills that kids already have in them, and where you can, you know, push them up. You can push them uh, to build upon uh, the better skills. So uh, there is, there are some uh, functions, what are the functions of entrepreneur, type of entrepreneurs, and just uh, like this, can we move to the next page? Yeah, yeah. Please, yes. All right, so it's it's a preface, it talks about uh, the children, why, why they should be uh, taught entrepreneurship. Next slide, please, the next, yes. Next, please. Yes, so this is uh, what entrepreneur is, why to be an entrepreneur. So these are the characteristics we have, we have uh, mentioned over here. Please move, keep on moving. This is in time. Uh, what are the vital functions? And then we can, we can email you if you want this guide, we can email you this guide. Type of entrepreneurs, please, please keep on, keep on scrolling because we'll, yes. if anyone yeah. wants this guide, we'll email them. Yeah. 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 So the types. There's yes. Account, uh, what is the business plan here? Here. Uh, yes. Yes. The components of a business plan then. And there's a simple template of the business plan. And the next. Yes, sales and marketing and everything. It seems that it is, uh, it's for you teachers, but uh, but when it comes to uh, children, you you find that they, this all these plans are very very uh, simple to use uh, with the kids. So here uh, the yard yeah, sale the, also the, talked about school yeah. trades, this is a to, carnivals. This is a guide to teach the level of the kids. That's it. Not a big big textbook. It is just a guide for the teachers to the level of the kids. And it's interesting because I've put together a lot of business plans uh, for a lot of companies. And oh. what you've done is you pulled together the real essence and made it so that a teacher can lead the kids through what's the most, what are the most important parts of any business plan. This is really, this is really incredible. Thank you. It's only knowledge, knowledge transformation. That's it. Yes. So here, have, see, this have, is the slide have, that we are showing here. We have shared it and teachers have to adapt and transform. Absolutely. And we are there to help them. Uh, yeah. Anywhere uh, no, they need our help, we are there. Uh, no, here, uh, here is some activity, like probably you could. Yes, yes. Your favorite business. So what is your favorite store? Because uh, the kids uh, love to go to the shopping with their parents or with their friends. So we can have them answer like, what is your favorite store? What is your favorite restaurant? Describe why you love this. So having children talk, have, having children, you know, discuss about all these things creates creates a lot of uh, ideas. 
so we can have uh, we can have you know uh, every student to have a brainstorming discussion so everybody has his likings or dislikings so now they here asking why they love these ideas why are they better than others so gives them a great power to think so asking why this happened so every time they have a question in their mind now they got to find answers within themselves so how they do justify. they make, yes to feel that uh, feel while going there so Why what kind of best? feeling so what made absolutely. you to say it is best absolutely so there is a your mm -hmm. perfect business here yeah. uh, we've talked about a lot about uh, what uh, uh, how to start up a business how you know simple the yard sale activity simple is just a business idea right so this is one of the activities that kids really love doing this and, and this simple mission statement research your favorite restaurant and then sample business idea so this i think mm can take yeah it, it's it's basically you know like uh, giving them a feel of a service business so how a service business operate and what are the opportunities <laughs> uh this sample explains about uh, teaching uh, tech uh, technology help for the senior people uh, like how to use the smartphone or the computer or the social media with a simple uh, not troubleshooting uh, tips for them uh surprising how we can charge them because service business goes by hourly charge so th this will give them an idea like how much to charge per hour uh, and then how to market this idea what are the various marketing channels they can take uh, you know to to say like at uh, this kind of service i am offering uh, some of the channels like newspaper radio flyers social media brochures and then word of referrals and then uh, the, the activity yeah, is, yeah it, it says like uh, which mar which marketing channel do you ad adopt and why and wh what are the age group uh, uh, you are targeting uh, what is the marketing strategy effective and how will you justify this so we give them a business idea and then uh, they have to come up with these answers so that each individual will address uh, with respect to their knowledge and their uh, you know the creative thinking process absolutely uh, so uh, audience there is a feedback form that we would love to hear from you that uh, you uh, how was the presentation and did you like the idea and uh, there is uh, manik can we share our email address with them uh, yes it's in the presentation yeah uh, yes it's, it's in the presentation yes it's in the last so please uh, take out some time to fill this feedback form it will take only a few minutes two to three minutes of yours we would love to hear from you this is our email id we'll post it in the chat box para biskills And are you, are you starting then a business around this a consulting if are you are you consulting to schools where are you taking this next as as entrepreneurs uh, would you like to answer this uh, i know probably you could answer this <laughs> so <laughs> because, no, uh, because so it it, uh, it it comes in the you know area where like uh, how do we think or how do we propose to the schools like okay 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 so please share the email id uh, in the chat please share this email id in the chat and, and there are people in the chat who have given their email ids who are interested also uh, yes there is in the we got your email ids in your in your feedback form once you fill your feedback form your email ids will reach us so it will be easier for us to contact you even you uh, you can email on the shared email id so uh, we are not uh, right now we are not thinking of starting it as a business but we are just going to, we are just thinking of helping the teachers helping the kids to to know more about entrepreneurship to develop the skills because because this is a really really important skill for kids to know this uh, to have uh, at this age right so uh, just a kind of you know service to the community we just want to do that as of now
no so this is a perfect example of the social entrepreneurship that you were talking about before, right? That you're making a difference for the world. Um, and I, I see uh, Minakshi um, has raised her hand, so you can. I can yeah, learn. Thank you. And I'm very much interested to start this as a club in my school. I'm really very much impressed. So it's great. Yes, Thank you so much, topic. Minakshi. I have Thank filled so in the much. form as well. I have filled in the great. form as well. I'm the principal of a school. So please do approach me. And uh, certainly I would like to have this in my school. Great. And Minakshi, as a principal, as you think about this, how do you see this helping your kids? Uh, certainly, you see, uh, when we are talking about uh, in our country, uh, when we have launched national education policy, when we are talking about vocational courses for the students, skill-based education, classics onwards. And uh, certainly this would be a great idea to uh, begin with this. And today only I attended a two-day uh, webinar from CBS. It was on employability skills that they are going to begin from class nine to class 12. 75 hours of uh, employability skills session in a year that will be there for class nine and 10. And then 85 uh, hours of training will be there in that uh, 11th and 12th. This is also wonderful. So this is uh, amazing. And certainly it is going to benefit all the students when we are talking about 21st century skills, communication, collaboration, convincing the others. It's really wonderful, great. Well, hearing from you as a principal, that's, uh, that was very important. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much. It made our day, you know, it was, it, 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 we just consider it as a launch date of our program. So that's fantastic to hear from you. Thank you so, so very much. Uh, we will definitely contact you. We'll definitely contact you. Yeah, I have filled in the form. So I have given my mail ID also in that form. So thank you. Yeah, yeah even I have shared the email address in the chat box. Probably everyone will be getting that. And I have to say that it's an honor to think that you all are launching your program, which is going to help schools um, all over the world, that you've launched it. And I was and I was there and I saw it. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so thank you. much for providing us the platform, uh, Mr. Mitch. It's, it's really an honor, always an honor to be with you, to talk to you. It's really an honor. And also one more thing, uh, like, uh, uh, we'll share our presentation with you, Mr. Mitch. So, uh, so you can, as an Archie, when you are sharing, going to share the video video link with the teachers, with everyone yeah. who's here. So we mm -hmm. share the presentation also. I'll share well, that uh, presentation with thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will do. And so everybody, um, I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you so much for attending. I hope to see you online. And Anupam, we talk regularly, and I'll be following this because I think that what the three of you are doing is so important for kids and, and society. And I just thank you all for doing this. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank, thank you so your, much, audience. Okay, this is Mitch Weisberg signing off for EdShed Interactive. Take care, everybody. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, 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 Vijay. Thanks, Minakshi. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, Anu. Thank you all. Bye.